Okay, so let's start looking at these files a little bit differently. Uh, up to now, we've opened an entire file and read through it. Um, but sometimes it makes more sense to go line by line through something. Um, to do that, it actually, it's pretty simple. Uh, as you might imagine, reading line by line is a loop. And there's a pattern there, right? So the pattern is look at a line, display it. Look at a line, display it. So as we start thinking about how do we turn that into a pattern, well, in this case, we know how long the file is because um, it's as long as it is, right? It starts at a place, it ends at a place. It's not that we as people know the number of lines, but it's a it's a finite um, or, a, or, a, or a discrete value that's, that, that's very clear, right? So um, we can use a for loop for that. So for each line, that's my variable, right? In, and we're just gonna look at our file handler, file handler, right? So I'm simply saying, look at my file handler, this file that I've opened, and for every line that's in there, print it. Simple and easy, right? So we hit play, hit play. If we hit the, uh, the run button, you can see that it all prints out. Now you will notice there's a new line character um, between each of these lines. So uh, when we look at things line by line, um, the new line character often appears. We may not be able to see it in our code, like you don't see the slash in, um, but we can see that it's happening, right? So one of the things we can do if we care about that, if we, you know, we may be just analyzing the data, in which case we may not care, but if we need to get that out, um, it's easy. Remember, we've got uh, those same string uh, functions and methods, so we could uh, just do a strip. So let's do that. Let's take our each line variable. So for every line that comes in, I want to take that line and I want to strip the right hand side of it. So that takes that new line character off the end. And now when I run this thing, uh, assuming I can get it to run, come on you. Let's do that again. There we go. And now we can see my new lines have been stripped out. Now, of course, the regular line carriage return is still there, but I don't get this weird new one for every line that runs. So I can now know that each of these is a line. Each of these represents one iteration of the for loop. And I could even go one step farther and I could say count. Uh, counter plus equal one, right? And add one to it. I do need to go up here and set my counter to zero then. And so I could come down here, print each line, and then I could print total number of lines is counter. And then I run this thing, and I can see down here at the end, um, for each one of those lines, it's counting up, right? And I can see that uh, my, my final total is 1,703 lines of code. Pretty cool, right? All right, so we'll be using this uh, to do some more analysts, analysts, to do some more analyzing of these uh, files.